Hi there, and welcome back to Learn with the Longhorns. My name is Cameron, and I am a sophomore soccer player at the University of Texas. Today, I'll be reading for you guys, Max Makes a New Friend. Let's get started. Under a warm African sun, Max, the young zebra, and his family were grazing in a patch of sweet tender grass. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a group of lionesses appeared. When the zebra family ran for safety, little Max was left behind. As nighttime settled over the African plain, Max found himself alone for the very first time. Cold and afraid, he found a place under a tree to spend the night. He tried very hard to be brave. He was very sleepy. Just as he began to fall asleep, he heard a strange sound coming up from the tree. Hoo, hoo. Max had never heard that sound before. When he looked up into the tree, he saw two big eyes in the dark. Hello, little one. My name is Owl Olivia. Who are you? My name is Max, he said, trying to be brave. Max, of course you're a little lost zebra. Well, Max, you have nothing to worry about. Your mother and the rest of your family are looking for you. I saw them. They're headed this way. Really? Max asked. That's great. Thank you, Miss Owl Olivia. Now, for the first time, Max was no longer afraid. Miss Owl Olivia Owl watched over him as he slept. As the first rays of red and yellow in the eastern sky announced a new day on the savanna, Max was awakened by another sound he had never heard before. Man, oh, it was a little funny squeak sound. What could it be? Man, there it was again. Whatever it was, it was coming from the tiny creature that was snuggled up close to Max. What was this tiny creature? It was the color of wheat and had small spots on its head. There were very funny looking bristles growing from both sides of its face. Meh, squeaked the little stranger again, looking up at Max. Who are you? asked the little zebra. I'm Leonora, she said, and I want my mom. And so the little lost zebra and the little lost lion cubs set off to greet a new day. When they found an area of tender grass, Max invited Leonora to join him in a snack. But the little lion cub had no interest in breakfast of tender grass, and so she found something better to do. When Max finished his breakfast, they continued on their way. But the long walk was too much for Leonora. The tiny lion cub was very tired and very hungry. So when our two young wanderers came to a refreshing watering hole, they were very happy to stop for a drink. But they weren't happy for long. Little Leonora slid down the bank and with a cub-sized splash, fell into the water. No matter how hard he tried, Max could not help Leonora out of the watering hole. Luckily for Leonora, Harry Hippo had just happened to be in the area. With one gentle nudge, he pushed a little lion cub out of the water and onto the bank. As Leonora shook herself dry, she heard a familiar sound. It was the mother calling. The lion pride too had come from a midday drink. Leonora and her mother ran to each other and exchanged lots of lion kisses. The whole pride was glad to have their baby back. Leonora's mother lifted her powerful lioness head and roared her thanks to Max. Goodbye, Max. Thank you for taking such good care of me. Don't be sad. You'll find your family soon, and you'll meet again to play. I promise. Now Max was alone. He felt very sad, but only for a moment. When Max lifted his head, he saw his whole family on the other side of the watering hole. He pranced happily to his mother. The two shared lots of zebra kisses. Now everything was just as it had been on the savannah, except now Max had a new friend, a friend for life. Thank you so much for joining me to read this book. And remember, wherever you go, always leave a trail of kindness behind you. Bye. See you soon.